Hello, I have returned, and that means it's time to hopefully get this refining section up and running. You know, once once I finish admiring my tanko fish a little bit more. Oh, look at all that meat. Anyway, moving along. It's time. Dang, they're fast. Look at that, they already dug that all out. Alright, it is time to dig out this vent. Circuit overloaded, which one? Oh. That's... That's okay. I think. Which one is it pointing at? The bridge? Yeah, it's pointing at the bridge. That's strange. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Oh, I, I need to fix that. One moment. I'm stunned that this hasn't been overloading, to be honest. But the bridge has been overloading. That's that's odd. Okay. Where was I? Oh yes. I was planning on watching them dig this out here. Although apparently Mima's gonna do this job first because I asked for it first. But here's Liam! Because I have more than one digger. I have three. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, now we just have to wait for this sucker to activate. Which Ruby is going to find out when that is. Hey Ruby, do the thing! Yes! Do the thing! You're excellent at doing the thing! You're the best at doing the thing! This, this could take a while. I maybe shouldn't sit here and watch while Ruby does the whole thing. <laughs> Okay, um, while Ruby does that, let's go down and see if they've reached that door I asked in the bioscan. Oh yeah! Alright, inspect. Search the computer, storing what useful data I can find in my own memory. New data database entry unlocked. Duplicant memory solution. Encryption level 2 to Director Stern from Redacted. Director, I had a thought about how to solve your duplicate memory problem. 
Rather than an attempt to access the subject's old memories, what if we were to embed all necessary information for colony survival into the printing process itself? The amount of data engineering can store... Sorry, the amount of data engineering can store has grown exponentially over the last year. We should take advantage of the technological development. Redacted Engineering Department at the Gravitas Facility. Cold. Likely, but cold. All right. Ask for a rummage. Inspect. And few. Oh. A few loose papers can be found inside. I scan the ones that look interesting. Times order. Encryption level 3. We have been successfully using the temporal bow now for some time with no obvious consequences. I should be happy that this works so well, but several questions gnaw at my brain late at night. If time's arrow is moving forward, the laws of entropy... De Oh, sorry. If time's arrow is moving forward, the laws of entropy declare that the universe should be moving from a state of order to one of chaos. If the temporal bow bends to a previous point in time, to a point when things were more orderly, logic would dictate we are making this point more chaotic by taking things from it. All known laws of the natural universe suggest that this should have affected our present day, but all evidence points to that not being true. It appears the theory that we cannot change our past was incorrect. This suggests that time is, in fact, not an arrow, but several arrows, each pointing different directions. Fundamentally, this proves the existence of other timelines, different dimensions, some of which we can assume have also built their own temporal bow. The promise of crossing this final dimensional threshold is too tempting. Imagine what things Gravitas has invented in another dimension. I must find a way to tear open the fabric of space-time and tap into the limitless human potential of a thousand alternate timelines. Oh, that, that doesn't sound like a madman at all. No, no crazy person wrote that. Mm -mm. No, no, no crazy, no crazy person ever wrote something like that. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Okay, so, um, what does the other locker have? Well, we have a rummage order, and I inspect it. There's a three-ring binder inside. I scan the surviving documents. In space, encryption level two. Voice recognition initialized. Subject identified B835B997. Log begins. Dr. Ansari. Shh. Dr. Berari. What? What are we doing here? Dr. Ansari. I'll show you. Just keep your voice down. Dr. Berari. Are we even allowed to be here? Dr. Ansari. No, trust me. It'll all be worth it once I can find it. Dr. Berari. Find what? Dr. Ansari. That! Dr. Berari. Feed, video feed from a rat cage? What's so great about... Wait, are they... Dr. Ansari. Floating! Dr. Bubar. Bubar? 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 Bubari? You mean they're in... Dr. Ansari. Space! Dr. Bubari. Our thermal rats are in space? Dr. Ansari. Yep. There's apple cart and cherry pie and little banana bread. Look at them. They're so happy. We made rastronauts. Dr. Bubari. Happy rastronauts. Dr. Ansari, we made happy rastronauts! Dr. Babar, shh, someone's coming. Log ends. Okay. Okay, alright. Uh, we'll come back later and see what they managed to rummage out of there. I guess. This asteroid has a lot of gold. Okay, wh wh where are we at up here? Um, this polluted oxygen is really brown and I mistook it for uh, natural gas for a moment there. Okay, still undergoing analysis. While it's still not going off and it's safe to sweep, let's let's actually do that. 
Oh wait, is it is it happening? It's it's vibrating. Oh, it's happening. Throw the switch. It's time. Where'd this water come from? Okay, people. I'm gonna cancel the sweep in there because it's not safe. yourself, Ruby. Please don't hurt yourself. I'm keeping a very close eye on this now. Okay, let's get this system jump started. I nearly forgot. We all the way down here. We're going to copy the settings from this battery to this battery. Oh, it's happening. all this stuff cleaned out of the way so I can see. If I turn this off now, thank you, Gossman. Oh, it's working. It's working. Okay, what do, what do we have here that I can't dispose of? Oh, are my boxes full? My boxes are full. Okay, we, we need a new bank of boxes. I don't really have any other use for this space, do I? So if I put Oh, what a pity. I can't put two lines of boxes in here. Well, let's put the boxes over here instead.
like this. that. We're just going to pretend that this is the top of the base. That's what we're going to do. Door, door. Dig that one spot. Dude, Liam. I'm not entirely certain why Liam is doing things in the order that Liam is doing things, but... It'll be fine. Awesome sauce. I will just let this run without doing anything until we've got at least at least a half tank of natural gas. start running the refiner and see if I still have enough power to do this as a closed loop. Oh, and I should check the exhaust because this seems to be working beautifully. pressure. How are you possibly over pressure when there is so much? It's probably just too much stuff close to the vent. I'll just take this out and widen this. Guys, you're letting an awful lot of polluted air into the base there. You open things up around the vent and suddenly it works. It's one thing you always got to watch out for. The, the vents, they don't like to have a lot of stuff around them. If they've got a solid thing against the top of them, they're like, oh no! Which does mean that this vent is always going to periodically complain simply because I put it up against the wall. Oh right, I didn't put a switch on this. Well, it doesn't matter. It will stop when it fills... 
pipe blocked. Oh yeah, it ran all the way up there. But it can't do a thing without the machine running. I also realized that I connected this pipe to the wrong box. I should have connected it to this box. Um, if I just do like this... That'll work, right? This will definitely stop once it fills up that tank, anyway. Sorry I went so long without talking there. I, my brain went to somewhere else. I'm not entirely certain where, but somewhere else. It does explain why the power goes down faster than expected. Oh man, it stopped already? Analysis complete. Okay, idle erupts in 0.3 cycles. Uh, 93S every 487S. Okay, we're fine. We, we will be getting more gas out of this active period. Let's go check out the new printables. Um, right, Mima is not learning anything more. Alright, we're good. We're good on skills. Okay, so we have 400 kilograms of copper. A Nisbet who is interested in farming, researching, and supplying, who has shriveled taste buds, a bottomless stomach, and happens to be destructive. An Ashkin who is interested in operating, cooking, and doctoring, who is buff, a yokel, and a binge eater. And a Camille who is interested in building, supplying, and tidying, who has duress to impress. Attribute bonuses while stressed, except that I do go out of my way not to stress my colony. Innately stylish, gastrophobia so they can't cook, and a pacifist who also happens to be a vomiter. Copper! Give me the copper. I need the copper. Oh, hallelujah, they finished these boxes. Alright, uh... Copy settings... There we go. Now that we have a storage solution, uh, please use it for all of this kruft. Yes, I know that I could use the infinite hole, but I just don't like the infinite hole.
wait a minute here. One, two, three, four. Okay, there there were four. Some reason I thought I saw five for a moment there. All right, how are we looking on food? Uh, we'll probably need some more soon, but we are. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's order some. Let's make some pickled meal, shall we? Oh no, they're disinfecting. Oh, what a waste of time and effort. Let's see... I would really like to have these bottles cleaned up so that I can... Like, everything cleaned up so that I can see the state of my boxes. Okay, you know what? Let's take the vent and put it here instead of there. Okay, I am going to have to be careful with this system. And run this gas pipe into there. I will miss some of the natural gas simply because of where I had to put the, where I did put the gas element sensor. If I'd say put it up here, I would get more of the gas, but... It still says it's overpressure because it thinks that there isn't enough air movement stuff here, but there's plenty. There's plenty. It's fine. Where did this pool of oxygen come from? Is that all escaping from my base? Okay, well, I've got to be more patient. We need a surplus of gas before I can really get to doing things. I, I really... Well, I, I have surplus copper. Yeah, this, this is a really weird shaped room here, but... Okay, uh, let's see. I may yet fill all, all this in just so I don't have to fill it with oxygen, but for the moment, what I want is an exosuit forge. Yeah, 
Okay, you know what? I'm going to start filling this in. I don't, I don't want to have all air. I'm having to fill too much empty space with air, is what I'm saying. So assuming that Ruby does not trap themselves in the floor... Yeah, okay. Another layer of tile, my good dupes. And let's see, what else do I want in this room? I also want the textile loom in here. clothing refashionator and look at that it fills it fills the zone perfectly I just have to remember not to run all of these at the same time okay so let me let me take a moment here Three stations here, three stations here, three stations here, so that's nine suits. Nine. In order to make nine iron at the most suits, probably have more than enough reed fiber, but uh, 300. times nine equals 2,700. So up here, I get 100 kilograms So I need to manufacture 27 iron. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a note of that. For nine atmo suits. Twenty-seven iron manufacture. Oh, that's so, that's a lot. Oh boy. I am not sure I'm going to have enough juice from one eruption to do all of that. Well, we're gonna try. Twenty-seven. Good thing I have a lot of iron, huh? What we're gonna do is we're gonna make the suits first, and then we're gonna start converting. <laughs> Okay, and down here, yep, the lockers have been rummaged. Ooh, two snazzy suits. Who does not have? Amari, Gossman, Lindsay, and Nails do not have clothing yet.
Okay. going to give this one to Nails, and I'm going to give this one to, Amari. Yeah, that, that feels good. Okay, and there's another, there's more fish down here, but there's also another room, maybe? Well, there's a door, anyway, down here. Uh, the question is which place to use the first of the three suits. And there's another vending machine over here. That would be really nice to go to as well. That's a cool steam vent, which has a very interesting placement, to be honest. Uh, I did... Did I not rummage these? Oh yeah, they've, they've already been rummaged. Okay. Just had a moment there. Uh, let's see, over this way? There's also stuff down here. Oh. Oh, what are you? Somnium synthesizer? Pajama cubby? <laughs> Story trait, Somnium Synthesizer. I've discovered a new dream-analyzing building buried deep inside our asteroid. It seems to contain new sleep-specific suits. Could these be the key to unlocking my duplicate's ability to dream? I've often wondered what they might be capable of once their imaginations were awakened. Fascinating. Also terrifying. Definitely need to access that. Um, I think, I think the first three suits I'm going to be setting up for going upward, though. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's take the Exosuit Forge and request three Iron Suits. That way, when the Iron is ready, the suits will be made. And then I will convert these oxygen mask stations into suit stations. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the oxygen masks after that. I can't deconstruct them. But that's a problem for future Fox Wine. She takes care of everything for me. Dang, this thing takes a lot of constructing. Colony achievement earned. Have eight duplicates wear non-default clothing simultaneously. Hey, go me! Have I really explored that much? Oh, I thought I'd explored very little, but it appears that I've actually gone quite far. Huh, okay. All right, go Lindsay, go! All right. 
right. Thank you for stopping by, Mia. It was very nice to see you again. Have a lovely night. And a great weekend, since I won't be streaming again until Sunday. Okay. Good night, Mia. And you know, for the aesthetics, let's just uh, deconstruct these two little pieces of ladder because they will never go anywhere again. Actually, it's more than just those two pieces of ladder, but... No, wait, it's just those two pieces because otherwise you can't get to the third bathroom. It's very important to be able to get to the third bathroom. Okay. Ah, much better. How are we doing up here? Oh, we're up to a yellow line on the gas reservoir. That is awesome. Ren is loading up with so much iron ore. I really hope the sieve can ke keep up with this. Okay. Has all the iron been delivered? I can't tell. Current order, iron ore to iron. Next order, iron ore to iron. <laughs> doesn't say how much iron has actually been delivered, I don't think. Oh, wait. Okay, so it has 200 kilograms of iron ore in it right now, which is less than it needs for the giant order that I've made. <laughs> Patience is a virtue or something. Uh, the algae is getting low again. Um, let's see. This is mostly slime. Once again, mostly slime, but quite a bit of algae as well. Um, well, let's start with the stuff that's closer to the base, just for the, the commute purposes. We're leaving this alone. Okay, I'm going to run the ladder along here. One, two, three, four. Four. Water. Four. 
four. What have you done? Oh, Mima. It's a good thing I didn't go any deeper than this. Ladder here, ladder here, ladder. Liam, why are you why are you cheering, Liam? What is there to cheer, Liam? I'm trying to keep a very close eye to make sure that nobody gets themselves stuck by digging out something before the ladder goes in. Like what Liam's doing right now is very dangerous. yourself trapped, Liam, so help me. As I'm very concerned because it's just this one piece of dirt right here that's keeping people from getting trapped. What you doing, Liam? What you doing? Oh, give me a conniption, why don't you? Okay. We're still on that one piece of dirt being the only thing keeping people from being trapped right now. Okay. 
We've gained a lot of slime, but not so much algae. Also, I am causing some serious problems for future me. Oh boy. Caused future me quite the quite the headache here. I haven't made things catastrophic for myself though, so you know that's that's a that's a step up. Okay, we don't have one piece of dirt preventing people from being trapped now. I cannot let this water here get much deeper or else I'm going to cut myself off from being able to go downwards. Like right now I can bypass by going to the side and down but but I do really want to be able to use this which is going to involve building a box around it which is going to involve breaching this polluted water hmm All this water I really can't use very well. <laughs> Gossman is absolutely thrilled about everything that's happening though. Still awaiting iron ore. We've now got 300 in here. What do you mean, no power? Okay, the awesome news is that this vent appears to be producing surplus, which is perfect. Okay, and once we have the Atmos suits, I'm going to have so much more distance that I can cover before the air runs out. So I'll be able to go up to this frozen fossil. I'll be able to start dealing with the hermit. Yeah, upward is definitely the first way to go. The main question in my mind is... Am I going to have to rework this whole thing here? Uh, stations. Atmos suit. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's three high. I'm gonna have to rework the whole thing. So this will be have to be moved up a space, which means that this will have to be moved up a space. 
So what I need to do is build a layer of tile here. Okay, uh, we're back to my stations. Back to my stations. The Atmos suit dock is only one wide. But the checkpoint... The checkpoint is also one wide. So we're still talking about the same width. But I'm going to need another space of height. So yeah, what I do is I build another layer on top of here, I clear this, yeah I see this way, I see the way forward here. Stop eating my rock you wild thing. All of my resources are precious, and you are not one of them. Okay, and... This way we maintain the majority of the seal. Deconstruct, 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 deconstruct. I said the majority of the seal. We are going to be open to the world for a little bit. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I have a plan. We're still gonna be open to the world, but we will be open to the world for less time. Okay. And we put in a tile. And an airlock. And deconstruct right here. And priorities. Perfect. Now we deconstruct here. Ooh, new printables are available. Anybody allowed to learn anything? Nails! Nails is allowed to learn something. You learned some improved carrying, congrats. And Lyra... Yeah, here, have some plumbing. Blueprint. Oh, <gasps> second Oxyfern! That's probably what's joining us, folks. Okay, so we have a pay who's interested in suit wearing, skilled in electrical engineering, is handy, 
has noodle arms and can't dig. Also, they scream when they're stressed. Uh, the oxyfern seed that I do actually want. The De a Devon, who is interested in researching, operating, and suit wearing, who's skilled in electrical engineering with noodle arms and a binge eater, and some thimble reed seeds, which I don't actually need. Give me the oxyfern. I've been praying for a second oxyfern. That's right, Nails, you learn that stuff. Okay, so finally we can have the second oxyfern for my carbon dioxide pit. Oh man, how do I have two of these useless things? Concern it. My slickster related sadness is immeasurable. I should have made him deeper. And further away from the oxy fern. What if... What if I made this a solid? Would that stop the oxygen from sneaking over into the slickster pen and turning them into the useless ones? knows? Okay, so I need a piece of ladder and some tiles. Oh, and I need a tile here as well. Bert? Bert, what's what's going on, Bert? Okay, and once this one piece of tile is built then I can raise this ceiling by destroying these tiles, and all will be well. Alright, deconstruct the tile. There we go! The ceiling has been raised to make room for my Atmo suits. Once I have them. Uh, speaking of... How are things going up here? They are not. They are not going. Is, is this a distance problem? Um, who, who is attached to this? Well, apparently Leyra's gonna come and do it. Leyra? Leyra? There you are, girl. You know, I gave them a bypass and yet they never use it. Why? Where are you going? Oh, are they still- they're still delivering all the metal. They're gonna deliver all the metal and then do the job. Oh no. Oh, suddenly I understand. Oh. I- I did not count on this. So they're going to put in all the metal 
for the order before they actually manufacture any of it. Okay. Okay, so I need to I need to recalculate. It was 300 per suit, right? Yes, 300 per suit. And I get 100 per order. So instead of 27, I should ask for nine at a time. Okay, are you... No, you're idle, you're not dormant. Okay. Once it's dormant, I'm sending the dupes in to clean up this stuff. But until then, uh, it's going to remain messy. Just trying to be clean and tidy so I can see what the heck is going on with anything. If I can't see my gauges, how am I supposed to know what, how full they are? I'm going to get a full tank from a single eruption. This is, this is awesome. I understand now, I understand now. They're just gonna load it with iron until there's enough for my order. And since there's only 300 in there... What was the conversion? Right, I put it... I The reason I wanted this was because you put in 100 and you get 100. Unfortunately, you get 100 very warm iron, but... See, this is why I wanted to keep my pipes nice and uh, short. Yeah, this, this is, this is good, this is good. Oh, I'm so proud of this system. I don't know why there's a dog howling out there, but I wish it would stop. That is a very distressed sounding dog. Still waiting on the iron. In the meantime, we have this mining operation I've been working on. That I'm gonna have to be more careful about because we really don't want to dump much more water down here than I already have. This is workable, but if it ever reaches this doorway, I've got problems. So I can't dump this water there, unfortunately. Okay, let's see here. I did not get as much water, uh, sorry, as much algae as I hoped out of this particular 
Like, I can see algae. I just... One, two, three, four. Across. Ladder. One, two, three, four. Ladder. Gotta leave this water the heck alone. Cause I'll get a bit more algae this way. And a lot more slime to process. I do wonder if I'm processing the slime fast enough. them over this away. No problem if I drop this water down here, though. And that's what happens when you don't hold down the shift key. Get yourself trapped underwater, Mima. I'm going to be extremely upset.
I'm watching all of you. But especially those of you who have already gotten yourselves trapped in the past. I have to admit, I'm not getting as much LJ out of this as I would hope to. Getting lots of slime. If I just don't watch the refined metal thing, it'll happen faster. Watch me actually need that line of ladder. Huh. Wasn't aware I had a stockpile of igneous rock over there. Industrious bird, I like you a lot. And then they couldn't reach the last bit. this stuff. Not all of it accessible to me, it must be admitted. Drop to Mari. Shame on you, Bert.
Okay, I really need to contain this, but I also want all of the algae around it. So... Method in the madness! Method in the madness! Yeah, I don't really want to drop any more water down here. Okay, is anybody trapped at all? Okay, I've been completely ignoring the whole metal thing for a while. Has anything happened up here? No. No, nothing has happened up here. Uh... This is... This is not a... Let's let's um let's adjust this. When it has a job, I want people to actually do it, okay? All right. Uh, there's not really a lot of algae to claim around here, is there? Ooh, fish. Two fish. I must add them to my swarm. Why does it keep saying it doesn't have power? Did I did I not plug it in correctly? There's power in the system. It's not using it right now, which is awesome, but... <sighs> I, I'm not gonna pretend to understand. I'm, I'm not even gonna pretend to understand. I do really worry about my amounts of algae. I have new printables. How long has that been like that? Nobody tell me. Alright, Liam, are you learning anything else? No, you know what? I think I think you're good, Liam. Lindsay. I feel like you should learn something else. Hmm, 
what what are your what are your construction is very bad excavation is worse uh, athletics isn't terrible agriculture is good but I already ran you through the line on that uh, Well, you know what? Let's let's improve your strength. Let's let's give you some tidying. And we have 3000 kilograms of coal. 2000 kilograms of water. A Quinn interested in decorating, operating, and digging, who's already skilled in super duper hard digging, is frost proof and has a green thumb, but also a mouth breather and a binge eater. And a Hassan who is interested in tidying, farming, and digging, who is a grease monkey, frost proof, uh, is not allowed to farm at all, and is an ugly crier. Hmm. I hope to not regret this. Cole, welcome to the colony. Hi, how are you? And Lindsay learns a little strength. we on food? We're looking pretty okay on food, but we could probably make some more. Got 33 kilograms of sleep wheat grain. Let's let's make another double batch of frost buns. 20 frost buns for me and my pals. Amari will get to that when they get to it. Okay, hatch count. One, two, three? Wait a minute. Oh, no, wait, there we go. One, two, three, four. They were overlapping. One, two, three, four. Excellent. They think they're cramped because of the egg. But at least they're not crowded, so cramp cramped is fine. Cramped is fine. it keeps saying it doesn't have enough power. Should I have run a, a heavy watt line into this? What is this? I know there's no configuration available. I just, I want the... Ah... I see, I see my mistake. I see my mistake. Okay. I can fix this. This is actually a very easy fix. What we do is we come in here. And deconstruct. This. Yeah. And this. 
and yeah, just deconstruct all of that. And then this tile also gets deconstructed. And we take a heavy watt wire, run that from here over to here. Oh, that took even less time than I thought it would. All right, rotate. Oh, you, you won't go there, huh? All right, go there. Cancel that since I don't need it. Run that like that and that like that. Take the regular wire, run it over the rigmarole and into there. this piece of floor back. Okay, so it wasn't what I ordered. It was the fact that I ran it through the transformer that was the problem. But we can fix this. Pull the heavy watt wire from before it gets transformed. Put this machine back to priority seven. I want the construction to be eight, but I only want the using the machine to be seven. Oh my goodness, my tank is full. This is a glorious day, my friends. Go, Liam, go. Wait, come back. Why can you guys not carry enough metal to get this done in one go? Okay, so I did make a minor mistake. That that was that was my oversight. <laughs> Also might have been my mistake making that heavy watt wire out of copper instead of gold, but what's done is done. Okay, so it wasn't that I ordered 27. It was that I didn't have the right power running in there because I did not pay attention. This is why you gotta pay attention. Okay. Yeah. We just need a bit more wire, guys. Come on. Don't make me make it a nine.
Oh man, I can't sit and watch this any longer. I'm gonna keep running the stream until that gets fixed, but... This is actually going to be even easier to fix than the other one. All we got to do is just deconstruct these tiles here. This one... Um... We're going to have to do the double floor thing again, but otherwise it's going to be easy. Like that. Oh, oh, what, what is happening here? Why are you overloading? That's, that's just plain weird. Why was this straining? It's not attached to anything other than... I'm so confused. What, what is, what is straining that? I mm. I don't know what's going on there. It's doing exactly nothing. What is the problem? So confusing. Is it the cooking? Is the cooking straining the system? I am very confused. Okay, while I was not looking, did y'all... Almost. There's still one piece y'all haven't done. Ren, Ren, please. Please. Ren, I'm begging you. Ren, come back. Won't someone come manufacture this? We just need a delivery. Just 86 kilograms of copper. Somebody must be able to carry 86 grams of copper, please. My disappointment is immeasurable and my skin is unclear. Also, is nobody gonna clean up this stuff? Mima just hanging out in the rec room alone. Not even sitting in the beach chair, just hanging.
We will note for the record that since I planted that other oxy fern, I stopped getting not making enough oxygen warnings. this done at least. So, deconstruct, 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 and deconstruct. Okay, we are all ready. We're, we're good to go for having the Atmo suits instead of the oxygen masks. We still haven't finished this one nubbin. Okay, now the construction is an eight, but the machine is a seven, I think. Yes, I need a storage box up here. I knew I left that space for something, and then I completely forgot what I meant to have that space for. Alright, if y'all would just finish our one little nubbin. Oh, Amari, you're carrying copper. I see you're carrying copper. Yes, Amari, yes. Okay. Progress. Why is there just iron ore scattered all over the ground here? Okay, and I'm going to make one order. Oh, it's happening. We're just going to order one eggshell to lime. Also, we're going to store the eggshells up here. Oh yes, the system works. Okay, and down here... Where are my, where are my organics? Here we are. No more eggshells in the boxes. Apply. Oh my goodness, they're everywhere. Also, you know what? We don't actually need it, but I'm going to make a second massage parlor just because I can. Because I also do not need this machine here anymore. 
So I'm going to deconstruct this. Eventually, I'm going to deconstruct this. Oh, look at all my fish. There we go. And deconstruct this. Now, I don't need a room this tall. And I think the best thing to do would be to come up rather than down because it'll be easier for them to build. So... Put a layer of tile here. And the nubbin for the door. And the door. table. Two large sculpting blocks. A power line. Wall. Hmm. And we're gonna we're gonna make it exactly the same as the other one, even though the sculptures probably won't come out the same. Like so. So that way, I will have two massage parlors in case people get stressed out. Ooh, more printables. Uh, is anybody allowed to learn anything? No. Alright, so we have a Marie who is interested in decorating and supplying. They're frostproof, squeamish, and an ugly crier. Camille, who is interested in digging, who's skilled in crop tending, squeamish, biohazardous, and a vomiter, a pile of lime, and a Frankie, who is interested in suit wearing, is innately stylish, is not allowed to be near animals, and destructive. Lime! We will take the lime. Welcome to the colony, lime. And now that we have lime, we should actually have two lime, or two piles of lime. We do! So over here we store eggshells, and then we figure out where the heck in here it says lime. There it is, lime. Eggshells and lime in this box. Later on, there'll probably be ceramics in here too, but for now, it's just eggshells and lime. Speaking of, back at the base... Could we have a sweep order on these eggshells, please? Admittedly, now the eggshells are being spit out about as far away from where they're stored as it is possible for them to get. But, yeah, that's, that's, a uh... Eh! Oh, and this room has a baby in it, which means that it's time for the age check. And it's probably this guy. Age 44, regular hatch. Age 88, stone hatch. 
age 24, age 73. Actually, it is this stone hatch at age 88. Which is a little remarkable to me. Although I'm inclined to send this 73 year old away because it's only at 0.8% reproduction. Uh... Yeah, this this one this one is is the one that's going to go. Goodbye. And look at that, they're no longer crowded. Cramped is dealable with, but crowded is absolutely out, the, out of the question. Oh hey, they got the meat before the hatch ate it. Go us. exactly because we had different statues but I, I think this is good anyway okay sweep up the massage parlor we can't have it being all messy in there it's a little weird to me how Mima just hangs out in the rec room all by themselves Okay, so now we are actually making refined iron, um, which we don't store in the base currently because I didn't have it until now. Uh, where, where, there we are. Oh, I am storing iron. Okay, that's, that's fine by me. Have I made any suits? I have made one suit. Cool. Now how does this work? Oh, I see. If I get people out of their snazzy suits, I can convert them into even better suits. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, so the question is, can I make snazzy suits? I can. That's even better. How much, what does it cost me? Four units. Okay, so four units of reed fiber to make the snazzy suit. And then say, a classic cummerbund, three units. Okay, so seven units to increase decor. Are any of these more than three units? They're not. Seven, seven fiber to make, to increase decor around my, my dupes. Oh, I, I love this. I love this. Still, I swore that I would not use these machines together. <laughs> so we're going to wait until the, the order is done. Ah. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? I'm gonna... No, not there. Here. I'm just gonna fill in this block here. Because it makes me feel better. Try and preserve, like, we're, we're trying to be very tight with space in order to. Oh, Ren is so happy they have a. Oh, they. Oh, and they gave Bert a balloon. Oh, Ren, you. You're the best. Okay, so we are making progress. It's still a little bit of a mess in the base, but soon we will have Atmo suits instead of oxygen masks. And that's very cool. And this system seems to be working as intended. I hope. Yeah, it appears that I have provided entirely more water than I need to. So that's pretty awesome. I seem to have accidentally set up a loop here. Oh, that's that's awful. Let's let's just let's just make that stop. Let's let's make that stop immediately. Oh wait, that's that's not the right one. That's not the right one. Deconstruct this one. Oh, that's that's terrible. My clean water is getting mixed with my dirty water and Why do I even have clean water? Why do I even have clean water in this pipe? like I messed something up somewhere. I just can't figure out where. Where is all this clean water coming from? Oh, wait. The refiner isn't making the water dirty. That's what's going on. Oh, now I get it. So at a certain point, I won't even need the sieve because all the water will be clean. Now I get it. Now I get it. Okay. Let's do a little mopping in here. A 
I probably don't need three tanks for this. Uh, what what if I take it down to two tanks? Or one tank? Yeah. Let's take it down to a single tank. gets deconstructed as well. And we'll just run this like that. a red signal when reservoir is full unless it's less than 100%. So if I say... Reservoir sends red signal when reservoir is 75% full unless it is less than okay, okay. Don't, I don't understand how to do this. What I want is for the tank to fill up and then to dump into the system. But I don't know, actually know how to set that. Sends a green signal when reservoir is less than 80% full until it is 100% full. I wish I knew how to set this up. Like if I set this to 50 on both of them. I don't know how to work this. I honestly don't know how to work this. <laughs> like, I, I, I wish I knew. I wish I knew how to make this work. Like, if I wanted them to just hold the water, Hmm. 
I I don't know. Problem is I don't know the difference between the high sending the red signal and the low sending the I really don't. It's fine. Everything's fine. It's fine. This Weez Ward is working really hard to try and cool this water. running very very late I've run in like an hour overtime now but it's just like I, I want to how, how many how many there are three okay we're going to have to deconstruct the system Why are Nail's eardrums popping? Okay, we're gonna pause because this is important to get right on the first try. One, two, three. And then the checkpoint pointing the other way. <laughs> Check the piping. Whoop, no, no, not not that, not that, not that, never that. Just machine here. Okay, yes, pipes are in the correct place. Oh. Let's, let's pull off the inactive system, I guess. Forgot you have to plug these buggers in. Uh, where, where can I pull that from? Here? Yeah, let's pull that from here. Shunk, shunk. Chunk. Okay. Priority. Eight. I'm gonna have to go and reset the doors to five uh, once I've done that, but... Build my little dupes! one out of iron. Okay, how much iron does that take? I don't know. 
100. I have to order another iron. You know what? Um Let's let's uh let's be smart about this. Let's be smart about this and track the colony iron. That way, I have to do less math. Okay. Deliver suit. Deliver suit. Not actually constructed. Insufficient resources. Oh no. Oh, I ran out of copper. I ran out of copper. Okay, let's order like five of those. Suit installed. Where is the oxygen going? I know it's going into the suits, but hold on a moment. Where? should have plenty of oxygen. I've been making so much. All right, it's it's working on it. It'll take it a little while to uh, refresh and refill and stuff. Oh, I know why there were the popped eardrums. I know why there were the popped eardrums, because I, I deconstructed while there was oxygen in them, so there was just this sudden influx of air. Okay, new printables. Oh boy. Okay, so we have an Ashkin who is interested in supplying, decorating, and digging, who is skilled in super duper hard digging, and a loud sleeper, who is also a binge eater. A Catalina interested in ranching with shriveled taste buds, an irritable bowel, and who vomits. A Camille who's interested in ranching, digging, and decorating with shriveled taste buds, frostproof, iron gut, irritable bowel, and a vomiter, and some pinch of pepper. Pinch of pepper it is. Come on, guys, there should be enough copper now. Please. Oh, look at that oxygen move. I am really glad that I created this, this stockpile of oxygen now. Oh, it's being built. Oh, right, and the doors need to go back to priority five. Having them at priority eight is absolutely ridiculous. There we go. And you, we deliver the suit. I mean, the longer it takes them to deliver the suit, the more oxygen there will be in the station, which is all for the good, as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, 
there. This this is awesome. This is great. Um, I'm going to store the oxygen masks. I can't deconstruct them, so just in case I need them, we're going to stash them for later. Atmo suits, yes. They can now travel greater distances. Upwards, ever upwards. And the power situation here seems to be just about perfect. Sooner or later we're going to have to do something about the base water, but um, we're okay for now. We're green, as you can see, green. Okay, we will order three more Atmo suits. Because the third one has been delivered here, and the question is which one to do next? I'm sending them out this side a lot, but there's also some very interesting stuff downwards out over here, so it's really hard to decide. I mean, I will have them all. It's just a question of what order, but that, once again, is a problem for future Foxwine. Uh, next month future Foxwine, in fact, because uh, special things are happening next week. Because it just so happens that next Thursday- oh, wait, oh, there, there's a, there's a situation in the upper ranch. There's too many hatch in here. Alright, who's the oldest? 25. 53, 97, and 76. 97, you say? <laughs> hmm. I don't think you're gonna make it all the way through the reproductive cycle before you die of old age. You might? You got like another 25 years in you. Days? 25 days. Um, this one. Farewell. Make sure that's taken care of. Oh, it gave me one last delivery of coal. Will my dupes come get the meat before the hatch eat it? Maybe. Okay. Everything is glorious here. But next week, I'm not going to be able to be here because it's going to be- well, I could be here, but I'm not going to be because it's going to be Halloween. And yeah, I, I kinda- I kinda want to actually do something for Halloween this year. Well, I do have something for Halloween every year. Uh, are you dormant yet? You are! Excellent. Sweepy sweepy time. And we're, we're going to nudge the priority. Uh, 
uh, because I want this cleaned out before it goes active again. Carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide and natural gas. Okay, that's that's actually perfect. And we've got enough natural gas left to be able to continue processing for a bit. Yes, that's right. Y'all need to clean up in here. All right. I am very pleased with the setup here. We're going to create something a little bit similar uh, down by the other natural gas vent. But uh, that's going to be a, a much quieter system. Mainly because it's only going to be for running the pump and the airlock. The natural gas is going to be entirely used for cooking and nothing else. So, I'm feeling pretty good. We're looking pretty good here. This, this is, this is a weird way of doing things. I realize I did this weird. Uh, you know what? Y'all, y'all can have two ladders to go to your too wide door because it looks better that way. Yeah. Yeah, even though they have the Atmo suits now, which makes the, the natural gas, uh, easier to, uh, have to deal with. I still don't want to lose any of my precious, precious natural gas. So that's why I waited until it went dormant before I asked for it to be cleaned up in there. And once it is cleaned up in there, I'm not going to have to worry about it anymore because they won't really have to go in there. But yeah. This worked out really well. The jump start was perfect. I actually didn't need two of the wheels. I only needed the one for the jump start, which was awesome. I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty happy about this. It's not exactly the prettiest arrangement, but it is effective, and it does the job that I needed it to do. And it looks like I'm going to have extra power for processing the water that I wanted. So all I need to do is figure out how I'm going to be cooling the water, and uh, we can I can get started on that because the the water wa the water geyser is it's around right over here so plenty of room for building a little reservoir right here but i i still need to figure out how to cool the water like this uh let's see this is containing the water is 63.5 degrees Celsius. I don't think one Weezwort is going to be able to help that. It's trying really hard, but I, I don't think it I don't think it can do it. But there should be enough power to uh, be able to collect the water. But the question is how to cool the water. I don't I don't think one geyser is going to give me enough power to uh, process the water through mechanically. I may, I may have to go around collecting wheeze warts and uh, set up a really dumb wheeze wart system. And I, I hate denuding my ice areas of wheeze warts uh, simply because I hate farming. I hate farming sleet wheat, <laughs> but. If I leave the- like, this area is the one that I'm harvesting. So if I just leave the weeds warts here and harvest them from the other ice areas that I'm not harvesting from... Like, this- this ice area is huge. 
maybe if I appropriate all the Weezwarts from this ice area, I'll be able to make a, a water cooling system. Then the main question becomes, you know, where do I get the Phosphorite? And I think that's where the Drekos come in. If I remember correctly, yeah, they excrete Phosphorite. So if I farm the Drekos, then I can uh, get a source of Phosphorite for feeding the Weezwarts. I don't really love farming Drekos. It's it's a bit of a pain. Also, you know, um, placement is a bit of an issue. I am producing more mealwort currently than I can use. So... I don't think that's going to be a problem. Uh, I can just... Um, I can possibly convert one of my mealwood farms. The main issue is getting the hydrogen. I'm probably going to have to capture it from a pocket. And then I've only got a finite amount, which is unfortunate. And I don't see any really big pockets of it either, which is going to make... <sighs> okay, I'm gonna have to think about this, and I have two weeks to think about it, so hopefully I'll come up with a solution. But wild, wild Dreco just do not produce phosphorite at the rate that I'm gonna need it if I'm using, if I'm going to be using Weezworts to cool my water. So I'm, I'm gonna have to think about that. But still, I'm really pleased with this system, which is why I'm going to save here, gazing upon what I have done. And this is where I'm going to call it a night, because I have run way later than I intended to. Oops. But I still haven't killed any dupes, so it's awesome, right? Right? <laughs> But fear not, even though I am taking a longer-ish break uh, from the try not to die, from the oxygen not included, and we'll, be, and we'll be returning with it in November, well, there's thousands of hours of oxygen not included available. Well, maybe not thousands, hundreds. There are hundreds of hours of oxygen not included available on my YouTube channel, which I've just linked to in the chat there. Uh, there is a playlist there for all of the oxygen not included, so if that's what you're here for, that is where you find it. It has all of the bases that I have currently built on stream, and all of that glorious stuff. And you know, if you're interested in more of my streaming than just oxygen not included, good news! There's a playlist on my channel for anything that I have streamed twice or more, so you don't have to go searching through in order to binge any other game that I have played. And then things get special and interesting as we go uh, through the last week of October and into November. But, you know, this Sunday is going to be the same as usual. Coming up this Sunday at 9 p.m., I will be playing Baldur's Gate 3, where I'm going to be in the Underdark looking for a pair of boots. I really need those boots. I gotta find them. They're in there somewhere. I will have them. Well, I kind of know where they are, but I... Acquiring boots is what I'm doing, uh, hopefully with the smallest amount of uh, death. Let's go for the smallest amount of death while acquiring boots. That's the plan. Then on Monday, it will be the last Monday of the month, which means that I will be playing Wildermyth, which is what I do on the last Monday of each month. Wildermyth is an RPG, uh, which is very interesting in that while the overarching plot of the game remains the same pretty much from playthrough to playthrough, the way that the characters evolve and what happens to them is chosen by RNG, and which characters it happens to is chosen by RNG. So every now and then a little plot event comes up for a randomly chosen character, and then that character changes according to my choices within that little plot event. 
It is a fascinating game with a gorgeous art style and the kind of tactics that I really sink my teeth into. It's a lot of fun, but I only play it once a month because I'm trying to stretch it out and savor it. So that is coming up on Monday. And then on Wednesday night, starting at as close to 7 p.m. as we get enough people together to form a game, I will be playing either Among Us or Scribble It or 100% Orange Juice with my friends, depending on how many people show up. <laughs> Among Us is the game we play when we have the largest number of people. I don't believe that it needs any explanation or description beyond that point. 100% Orange Juice is the game that we play when we have the least number of people because it's four players or less and it's anime Mario Party. It's ridiculous fun. The dice hate us all, the cards change the rules, and every character has an individual special power that changes the rules just for them. It is glorious chaotic madness. And when we have too many people for 100% orange juice, but not quite enough for Among Us, that's when we play Scribble It, which is a Pictionary-style game where one person draws, everyone else guesses, and whoever has the largest number of points at the end of three rounds takes the game. And then, usually somewhere around 10.15 or 10.20 or so on Wednesday, when my friends must abandon me because they have day jobs that require them to be up in the morning, which they tell me means that they need to sleep at night? I... Eh. Well, that's when I switch over to my solo Valheim server where I crash around and do my best. Coming up in Valheim on next Wednesday, I hope, there will be a construction project. I have found the place where I'm going to um, uh, set up to fight the next boss who is Motor of the Mountains. And uh, the problem is that it doesn't have a roof or a door. And uh, these things need to definitely exist. Uh, because they're, the mountain is infested with, with drakes and wolves. And I need a door and a roof in order to keep these threats from chewing on my portal. Uh, which, you know, I'd rather keep than lose. So the idea is to build probably a double roof on the place so that the drakes will not chew through the first one. And put a door on it. And then go back to my original portal, which is halfway up the mountain and very awkward, to retrieve it and uh, break it down for its parts. So that's the plan for Valheim. And then, next Thursday night, it will be Halloween night, which means I will not be returning to Oxygen Not Included for just that week. I'm going to be playing a somewhat spookier game. I'm going to be playing Ghostlight Tokyo, where I'm going to be either defending the city of Tokyo against yokai, or uh, just trying to keep the yokai from kidnapping my sister. I'm not sure which one it is. It might be both. It might be one or the other. I'm not entirely certain which one it is, but I'll figure it out as I go along, as I fight the yokai in Tokyo. Possibly in an alternate dimension where you can actually see yokai. I've played a little bit of the start of the game, but I have not gone very far in. So, and it has been some time since I played, so I am a little unclear on the plot. But I figured that it would be uh, better to fight yokai this year. Uh... <laughs> And you know, I have a computer that I can actually stream the game from now, so ha 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 ha. So that will be a Halloween special next Thursday night. So that is the upcoming schedule for my week. All of the games that I'm going to be playing and everything that I plan to do in those games, as much as I can plan, especially for the games that I don't either don't remember or don't have spoilers for. But you know, I'll figure it out. And whether or not I have a plan and whether or not I actually know what I'm doing, I still have fun. And I've had so much fun today, and I hope that all of you have had at least as much fun as I have, and I hope that you all have a great night. Good night!